Hi, I'm Phil McKenna at the New Scientist office in Boston. Right now, there is an interesting project underway that could reshape clean energy. It's the brainchild of none other than the XPRIZE Foundation. You remember the XPRIZE. Their first contests enabled the first private spaceship. Now, they've set their sights on energy and the environment. But instead of dictating the terms of their next prize, they've called on YouTube viewers to submit their own crazy green ideas. This video asks viewers to make their own two-minute video explaining their ideas for a new $10 million prize. And whoever comes up with the best video wins $25,000. So this is a little confusing. It's a $25,000 prize to create a $10 million challenge that others will then go out and try to solve. Now we've been following this at New Scientist since September when the call for videos first went out and more than 130 teams and individuals have since responded. This week, XPRIZE picked three finalists and now they're asking all of us to pick the winner. Here's a look at the three competing videos. Okay, so these guys in Irvine, California are calling for a better battery or ultra capacitor. It would have to have greater energy density than conventional lead acid batteries and be fully rechargeable in less than a minute. I'm not sure what it has to do with sitting in trees, but as they explain, the battery would have to power a car for 100 miles, be recharged, and then driven back in order to win the X Prize. Hi, I'm Alan. Alan's from Roy, Utah, and he's outlining a challenge for a completely energy independent and affordable home. It can draw on any combination of renewables and conservation measures. Here, he gives an example of a house with solar panels and micro windmills that store energy in underground flywheels. A team from MIT here in Cambridge, Massachusetts says the best way to reduce greenhouse gases is not through renewables, but through increased energy efficiency. Here's their challenge. Communities around the country will compete with each other to reduce home energy consumption over a two-year time period. The community that reduces their home energy usage the most wins the prize. They say that if just 10% of Americans reduce their energy usage by 10%, the savings would equal the output of 74 million square meters of solar panels. Voters have until November 30th to pick their favorite video, but you might wonder, what does XPRIZE hope to gain out of asking people for their big ideas? I asked Peter Diamandis, the head of the XPRIZE Foundation, why he went with this competition within a competition approach. He said it was a way to tap a far greater number of individuals and ideas than if they went with their own in-house experts. I guess the great thing about a competition like this is if it's successful, everybody wins. For New Scientist, I'm Phil McKenna.